Hey part-time drumming community, this is Josh here and today we are um, set for a mini course here today and we're going to be exploring the topic of the double stroke roll and how to effectively apply it to the drum set. Alright, so first thing is uh, we're talking about the double stroke roll and we need to make sure we're on the same page with what a double stroke roll is. Um, hopefully you've uh, explored already our Snare Drum Mastery 101 course where we look at the double stroke roll in depth and all the different rudiments that uh, can be done or all the standard rudiments anyway that are done with the uh, double stroke roll. But just as a quick review for some of you who may have not have taken the course or need a refresher, uh, the double stroke roll is a roll in the drum set uh, that uses doubles. And doubles refers to uh, something that is done twice. So it is a stroke that's done twice. And very simply, um, it is a stroke where you go uh, normally right, right, or and left, left. So, right, right, left, left. Of course, you can also start with a left hand lead, which is left, left, right, right. But uh, the basic roll is just two strokes per hand. So, right, right, left, left. Right? So, um, one of the exercises I recommend that you do here. Uh, We'll, we'll cover it here, we cover it in the Snare Drum Mastery course, is just taking your double strokes and going from open to close. And I'll do this without a metronome here, first for this demonstration, so. And uh, open to close means, uh, when you start open, it kind of means you're starting off really slow and big. And then eventually you continue to increase your speed until you, um, become very tight and fast. So we'll see that here. So here's the, uh, the double stroke roll open to close. This is right hand lead, which means I'm starting with the right hand and we're going right, right, left, left. So that was a double stroke from open to close and back to open. Uh, just a couple of quick tips on how to effectively do the double stroke roll. Of course, uh, I was using match grip for this uh, demonstration. You could have used traditional grip too. There's no right or wrong on that. Um, I think the key to doing really good double stroke rolls is first actually practicing a lot. I think that's the key to a lot of things in drumming. Practicing frequently will help you to uh, just build up the stamina and the speed and the muscle coordination. But a uh, good, good uh, snare drum technique goes a long way as well. And with the double stroke, you got to make sure that you're getting a good balance off that drum. Um, that you're not trying to muscle the roll out. Um, I'm letting the snare drum throw that stick back as much as I can. 
you see it's pretty effortless. And it just becomes a matter of controlling the roll and uh, letting the drum do as much where you can. So, so I'm getting a really good rebound off that. And I've even heard some people compare the technique of letting the stick bounce off the drum it is something similar to dribbling a basketball. I mean, you put in the initial effort, but then you let the ball rebound on its own and come back, and you know, you're really just controlling the bounce of the ball. And it's very similar to what you're doing with a snare drum, too, especially with some of these rolls. Alright, so that's one helpful thing on the double stroke. So that, that's the double stroke, the actual roll and how it's played. Uh, but what we're really here to talk about today is how to apply the double stroke roll to the drum set. So, I mean, it's nice to be able to play a double stroke roll. But um, when you're playing in a real life situation, what can you really do with the double stroke roll? is what we're here to look at today. Um, so again, um, the double stroke roll involves two strokes per hand. So the first thing I usually think about is when trying to apply the double stroke roll to the drum set is, you know, you start off with your snare drum. Uh, and there's a lot of different exercises you can do. Uh, here's one that I like to do just to kind of get the whole drum kit warmed up. I'm going to do the double stroke roll and I'm going to do it um, preferably with a metronome. So I've got my uh, phone here which has a metronome app. I'm going to start at about 65 beats per minute and we're playing in 4-4 time. Uh, we don't have time to go into time signatures in detail but 4-4 four, four just simply means there's going to be four notes per measure. So basically they're counting to four, so one, two, three, four. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off my bass drum on the one, two, three, and four. So basically just like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Pretty simple. Hi-hat. Um, I'm going to open and close with my foot on the two and four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? So if we put both bass drum and hi hat together, we'll get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then finally, what I want to do is I want to put the double stroke on top of that, just on the snare drum. We'll start off with the snare drum. So uh, and let me get the metronome going so you can hear too. So, all right. So that's our speed. When you hear the different click, that means the one. So that's the one. All right. So here we go. So that's kind of a, a warm-up exercise I do, and what I'll do is I actually increase the speed as I go. I start at 65 beats per minute, but I won't stay there. And the point of the exercise is to start getting your, uh, it's, it's a great warm-up exercise uh, for a gig or for a show or for a service or wherever, wherever you play your drums. Um, it's a great warm-up exercise. So I would start to do that, like I said, it gets all my limbs going and gets my hands going. So, and also when you're when you're keeping time with the bass drum and the hi hat, uh, like I said, that's, that's helping you keep time and uh, helping you remain smooth on the roll, so you know where you're at. So at 65 beats per minute, uh, like I said, what I would do is I would probably start off with that and then just gradually increase anywhere there between 5 and 10 beats per minute every minute or two. So it would be something like this.
right, so we started about 65 beats per minute and I ended it at 103. Now obviously, uh, we can go much faster in speed on that exercise, but for time's sake, we're going to stop right there for this part. Um, but I definitely recommend that you continue to build up that speed until you reach as fast as you can go, playing smoothly and playing effectively. Like I said, uh, speed is of no use to anyone in drumming if you can't do it accurately and musically too, I might add. So uh, that's the, kind of the beginning of the exercise. And just a, one qu quick plug as well, definitely recommend using a metronome if you have access to one. Uh, if you don't, that, um, that bass drum and hi-hat pattern helps keep you steady. Okay, so like I said, that's that's the basic uh, basic uh, warm up exercise. Now beyond that, though, where things start getting interesting, is we're going to want to start moving that double stroke away from the snare drum and to other parts of the drum set. So the easiest way to do that, at least from my point of view, is just to start moving that double stroke from the snare drum using the right hand. I'm assuming most of you are right hand. If you're not, just take what I'm saying and turn around backwards. So I'm gonna let's say we're in four four time, so you know you got one, two, three, four. If I was playing 60 notes, one and a two and a three and a four and a, right? Alright, so I'm just gonna take that the one playing on the snare drum. I'm gonna play the two on the high tom, three on the uh, mid tom and four on the floor tom. Now I'm playing a five piece uh, drum set here, but if you have less, it doesn't matter. You just move it to where you want. So if you're playing a four piece, top and bottom, you would just you could do just uh, uh, you could do whatever you want. You could go one, two, three, four, or you could go one. You just do one, two, three, four. Whatever you want to do. Uh, the point is that you're just moving it around the drum set. So and moving it from snare drum to tom. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do that with the metronome so we can uh, make sure our speed is accurate and that we're staying in tempo. So I'm going to start at about 90 beats per minute for this one. And I'm going to use the bass drum and high hat pattern too. Alright, so that was just moving the right hand around. Uh, you can also move the left hand around too. A little bit more challenging, but you can do it. So one, one, one. Uh, now you have to do some crossover, which is a little bit more challenging, but it's uh, it's good for your coordination and it looks cool for your drummers, the drummers too. So. You notice uh, with the left hand, I'm um, playing one E and a. So the left hand is playing the and a. So one E and a two. And a three and a four eight and a one and a two. Okay, just making sure that it's clear. Or you could you could do a left hand lead where you go start with a left hand one eight and a so one and a three and a two. It's the same thing. It just makes it a little easier. So let me try that with the left hand lead. So 
that was left hand needle. Makes it a little easier to go around the time so I don't have to cross over. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Left hand lead. Alright? Now back to right hand lead. Doubles. Alright, so I'm gonna get a little more creative now. I want to incorporate, let's say, maybe a hi-hat and a rise symbol or something. I don't know. So one and a three and a three and a four and a three and a three and a three and a four and a three. Alright? So let's let's see what that sounds like. So that's just moving the, um, the doubles onto the symbols a little bit. So we're still keeping the basic pattern the right, right, left, left. We're just moving it to different services. I'm just moving the double stroke around to different drums. All right, the next level I would say would be to actually split the doubles between two drums. So what I'm saying is we've been just doing doubles like right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, 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 right. Now what I want to do is I want to go right, right, left, left. Okay, so I'm splitting the doubles. So right, right. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, so. So it's right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, okay? We'll see what that sounds like set up. So let me just do a little kind of a, a free flow exercise, kind of a mini solo here to show you. Splitting the doubles between the drums, I'm mostly going to be doing the right hand on this one. Splitting the double between two surfaces. Keeping the left hand on the E and a one E and a. The Anna was just staying right in there on the snare. Cool. Okay, uh, so the next level would be to move both the right and the left hand. So you would be going. Oh, 
a metronome, but uh, with the metronome. on this uh, drum set here, so they're not as loud, quite as loud as a normal drum set. So if you lose the, the, the volume, that's, that's why. All right, so we've been moving the double around the top. Now we need to do some doubles on the bottom too. So the way I like to split my doubles, there's, there's numerous ways to do it, but for this particular example in this particular drum set, I'm using a just a single pedal. So everything I gotta do has got to be done with that. If you have a double pedal, that gives you even more options to apply this. So what I like to do is I like to start off with um, where we're gonna start moving the double to the bass drum. So I like to start off with two on the bottom, which would it you know be the one E and then two on the top, and that's the Anna, so one, E, and All right, this is where it gets a little more interesting. You've got to be creative and build up your coordination and things like that. Um, you could go straight right hand and foot, so one, E, and uh, two, and uh, three, and you could do, you could do all your doubles like that. But I also recommend throwing in the left hand. So what I like to do is alternate. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And spend some time doing that. Don't try to rush that. It's definitely a coordinational challenge to be able to build up that speed and smoothness between the two the two drums especially going from bottom to top to open up playing. I mean, you, you can do feels with that. So that's just doubles. Um, one E, two E. All right, so that's another tip, another exercise you can work on. You're just going two on bottom, two on top, or two on top and two on bottom. Reverse it, so one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. So there's more than one way to do it. All right, so once you get that really solid, like I said, don't rush that. Practice that one exercise a lot before you try to move it around the drum set and get it really smooth and solid because being smooth and solid is where it's at on the drums. Like I said, nobody cares if you're fast, if you're sloppy. All right, so once we do that, then we're gonna do the same ideas. We're just gonna start moving it around a drum set you can start with your right hand if you want. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And follow by the left hand. One E two E and a three E and a four E and a. Alright? So let's throw that out on the metronome and see how it sounds.
All right, so that was us just moving that double around. Of course, the next level would just be to um, split it between, split the double between um, different surfaces. So. said hundreds of possibilities and different combinations all right now that was basically bass drum bass drum snare drum snare drum bass drum bass drum snare drum snare drum or we did the flip play snare drum snare drum bass drum bass drum snare drum snare drum bass drum bass drum whichever you want to do all right so that's two on top two on bottom using the stricter definition of the double stroke. Now, one variation I'd like to show you here as well is to be able to play the double stroke, but it's a very loose interpretation and it's really a combination of singles and doubles, but it sounds the same. And it's a little bit easier actually. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right, left, bass drum, bass drum. Right, left, bass drum, bass drum. So, Right? So that still sounds like a double. I'm just using different strokes. But it's actually, I, I feel like it's a little bit easier to apply, so to apply to the drum set. So uh, let's see what that sounds with the metronome. Okay. Another one, another exercise right there. Practice it slow, don't rush it, build up your speed and coordination over time. So another great warm-up, just sit there and do that for a few minutes, you'll be warmed up. And then of course the next progression would be to just move that around the drum set. tricky you can just alternate between both the single version right left bass drum bass drum and right right bass drum bass drum left left bass drum bass drum see um right left bass drum bass drum right right bass drum bass drum left left bass drum bass drum let's play all kind of all three Creativity is definitely where you want to be. So, um, also too, I forgot to mention if it's important to anybody, I'm using uh, heel up on this uh, bass drum technique. Uh, I don't use heel down for this because it's too fast. So heel up on my bass drum, just in case you wanted to know. So that was a few quick tips that I wanted to show you. Uh, like I said, that's. Those are some ideas on how to apply the double stroke to the bass drum and the entire drum set. So instead of just playing your regular double stroke roll, we took it and we applied it to the drum set. Now, of course, 
this this is just a small example of what's possible with this. Like I said, you could come up with your own combinations and your own uh, interpretations and however you want to to do this. But like I said, my my goal with the course was just to get your ideas flowing so that you could spend time developing those techniques. So here again, this was doubles applied to the drum set and around the drum set. Uh, and just a couple of quick tips before we go. Uh, always use that metronome. It's very important to start slow and to build that speed so it's very even and smooth. And be consistent. That's the other thing I would say as well is practice this stuff consistently if you want to get good at it. So uh, again, my name is Josh and I'm with Part-Time Drummer. And this was a mini course on applying uh, doubles to the drum set. So uh, hope to see you soon and hope this was some valuable information for you to help you to get started and to improve your drummer technique.